All right, I found this filter um, somewhere on Alibaba, maybe? I don't remember. Um, it was super cheap, so I bought it. It's a, a PC board filter, so it has a ground plane on the bottom, so it's a micro strip design and it has two SMA connectors. So it is a bandpass filter, so there is some resonant frequency that couples in this thing. So you can imagine that these, sort of like a Yagi antenna, these are cut to length to match certain things. There's stubs and there's a length of resonance and then there's capacitive coupling between those uh, elements. And uh, yeah, and so it all adds up to a, um, a bandpass filter. So this is marked uh, ADS-B filter. So I have no idea what frequency this is. Um, from the looks of it, it's probably around a gigahertz or something. I'm just guessing. So uh, let's go ahead and measure it and uh, see what there is to see. All right, we're going to be using the tracking generator, so we'll turn that on. And um, we should do a, a cal. Okay, so I'm going to put a, uh, a short, not a short, a... Um, a through uh, and so we're putting in a uh, just a connector here to put the input and the output together and we have a line it's pretty flat already but we'll go ahead and store that reference and normalize it so now it's a perfectly flat uh, 0 dB line and we, we want to have that up near the top and so we will put that at 90% uh, level so now, now our straight lines up at the top there now okay so let's uh, Sorry about it's wash day, so the washing machine's making a bunch of clanking noises in the background. When you're in a house with four people, there's always laundry being done, and I, I just can't wait for the laundry to be done so I can have a quiet, <laughs> quiet garage. So I'm just gonna film some noisy videos once in a while. And there we go. Um, we have, uh, this is where the filter was designed, and then there's some harmonics, right? Because uh, you can imagine that if one wavelength fits in here, then you know, then two two wavelengths would fit, three wavelengths would fit, and so there's going to be multiples of that. So, but this you can see this one's pretty ugly. So it was designed for this one here. Okay, uh, so we can do a peak on that. Uh, we will do peak to center frequency. There is our nice filter, and then we can say what is the three dB point, and it's 240 megahertz wide. Uh, and center frequency is about one gigahertz. Hey, a good guess. 1.085 gigahertz. Um, and yeah, so I'm not exactly sure what this was um, designed for. The low frequency is 964 megahertz and the high frequency is 1.2 gigahertz. So yeah, I, I don't know who designed this, but it's a, it's a nice training tool. Uh, you can get, like I said, you can get these super, super cheap. Um, and the other thing, I've showed this once in my video, you can actually get bare PC boards and then make these out of copper tape or aluminum tape. And you can just build your own and then rip them up and try other ones out. So uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, design some of your own, try them out. Um, when you design these things, you do have to take into account the dielectric properties of the PC board and the, the thickness of the PC board to ground. Um, but most of the CAD programs will take care of that for you. And uh, yeah, looks pretty cool. One thing that I, I might point out, let me, let me zoom back down here again. Um, I don't know if you, if you noticed it. Let me get something to point with here. Um, but the, uh, the corners are cut. And there's a lot of science that goes into that little 45 degree cut there. So you can imagine that if you uh, have electrical signal and it, it's got to go around this thing, right? Just kind of imagine that for a second. It's not exactly what's happening, but kind of going around there. Um, if you have a, a corner here, it might, it might just bounce up and down and bounce up and down here and then not continue. You're giving it some impedance match there. So um, instead of wanting to just kind of sit there, it'll, it'll travel to the next section. And so I, I know I'm kind of hand waving this, but uh, anyway, these, these little 45 degree angles here are actually, are actually quite important. Being an optics person, I always kind of think of these as a light pipe and, uh, you know, the light would just rattle up and down. If you have that little corner there, the light would go boink, 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 be like little mirrors in there. And, uh, yep, light and radio waves are kind of the same thing.